Hello Knicks fan and thank you for watching another session of Knicks Couch Report uh, by Knicks Pros TV. Uh, today uh, we are here to talk about Knicks and their struggles. Uh, their latest game against uh, Timberwolves was a total disaster. So um, nothing positive to talk about. So don't expect anything positive out of this video if you're waiting for. There's nothing positive is going to come out of my mouth. So um, basically I'm here today to rip that Knicks team. You know, um, not for losing, for embarrassing us, for lack of effort. You know, last night's game was, it, it absolutely, you know, triggered something in me that, you know, I, I, was, I was hoping that it's not going to get triggered. I was hoping, you know, they, they played the right way, but playing a Timberwolf team that was missing Ricky Rubio, their uh, center Petrovic, and also uh, uh, Bettis Young. So they were missing three key starters and we lost to them by like 16 points or so. How embarrassing is that? How embarrassing is it to lose to a team that basically played their bench and their rookie and, and you know, a bunch of role, role players and they beat the next team that has a guy with a $25 million contract on there, has a guy with a $20 million contract on there, has a guy with a $6 million contract on there, and so on. You know, I personally as a fan was embarrassed watching that game last night. You know, I, this is this thing. As fans, I'm talking about myself and, and the Knicks fans that I know. We are emotionally invested in this team. Come home tired from work, uh, put the game on, stay up until 10.30, 11 o'clock at night for the Knicks to come on and to watch them play. And this is how we get rewarded. The great Knicks fans all over the world turn on the TV to watch their favorite team. And they got nothing to say about them but embarrassment. In New York, people spend lots of money to buy a ticket to go sit down and watch the Knicks. What do they get? Nothing but laziness and embarrassment and being pathetic. It has been horrible. You know, I don't care if you lose, but you show effort. I didn't mind them losing to the, uh, to the Jazz team because even though they put themselves in a hole as they do every game, but they showed fight, they fought back, they lost on a buzzer beater. That's fine. I can live with that. But I can't live with going to Minnesota, playing a team that is playing the bench and a bunch of role players and get embarrassed. That is unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. I'm not blaming it on a coach. Because what a coach can do. He lays out the you know game plan. And the players got to go and execute. Right? He's not in the game. He's not making shots. He's not making the passes. Greg Popovich in uh, San Antonio, he doesn't go in the field, you know, in the court and grab the ball and shoot threes and drive to the basket. He does the same thing as uh, D. Fish does. He draws a game plan and he tells his player to go and play. What's their result? Eh, it's not because they've been together for so long. It's because they're professionals. It's because they don't have an idiot like J.R. Smith. It's because they don't have a player that cares about building an Eiffel Tower on his head 
more than perfect, you know, perfecting his craft. They got professionals in their team. We got clowns in our team. I'm, I'm at that point that I really don't care at this point. Trade them all. Trade J.R. Smith. Trade Demont Shumpert. Trade Hardaway Jr. So far this season, Melo has done his part. I think Dallenberg, Quincy AC, they done their part. Even... Um, Pablo Prigioni and um, Shane Larkin, I think they did their part. I mean, that's all they can do. But if you're paying a player $6 million a year and he calls himself a scorer, then you're going to ex expect more than going for uh, last night's game, one for three. Or Iman Shumpert that think he's a talent and he might as well be, but he's not consistent enough to show it. Going one for eleven with four turnovers. Last night there was a stretch in the third quarter. We had about six or seven turnovers all back to back to back to back. Not even a high school team does that. And us as a Knicks fan supposed to sit down and watch this garbage product. Listen, I understand patience, but patience you have with a team that shows uh, you know progress. This team has regressed. This team comes and loses. I, how many times did I say it to a timber a Timberland team, a Timberwolf team that. Um, has basically none of their starters and they get embarrassed Boston Celtics are supposed to be tanking and supposed to be bad this year they are better than us Milwaukee Bucks are supposed to be bad this year they are better than us they don't have a 20 million dollar or 25 million dollar player on their roster So, listen, at this point, our only savior, I mean, that the only last chance for us left to salvage the season is for Calderon and Barniani to come back, which looks like it's going to be the Saturday, and that might make a difference. If that doesn't, then you know what? God help us next fans this season, because this is the garbage product that we're going to watch. And honestly, you know, as a fan, it's hard to do that year after year, in and out. I mean, it's tough. But we are Knicks fans. I mean, we are loyal. I mean, we stick with our team. But that doesn't mean I am not going to bash every single one of them when I don't see effort. I don't care if you lose. Just show effort. So far, by the game or two, we haven't seen that effort to be there. And as Knicks fans, we can't stand that. So with that said, I um, apologize if I offended anybody, but this is how I feel about this team. You know, I know there are lots of frustrated fans out there that feel the same way. So... Please leave us your comments, leave us your, uh, you know, let me know what you think about this team. Let me know how frustrated you are. You know, and, and hopefully we can, you know, help each other out throughout the season, you know, to, to get to next year and hopefully a brighter future. Like our videos, subscribe to our channel for more videos to come. And again, thank you for watching. I usually finish my videos by saying go Knicks. This video, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say go Knicks fans for sticking with this team throughout this garbage times. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you guys in the next video.